Hey y'all, it's your girl. Shay. I don't know what all that was about. It's your girl. Hey, it's it's me, Shay. I don't know why I had to do all that, but what's up? Um, so I'm watching a movie. Won't 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 I'm watching the color purple. The new one, of course. I just just paid for this max subscription so I could watch it again. Cause I already seen it in theaters. But I'm gonna watch it again. But um, the first time I watched it, I didn't, um, shall I say, meditate before I went to the theaters. I didn't meditate. So, I meditated just now, and I paid for my little subscription, nine bucks. I'm going to cancel it next month, because I, I don't want it no more after this. After I've watched this movie, I don't need it no more. I don't want to pay $10 not to watch it. So, anyways, um, I paid a little 10 bucks. And I'm starting the movie. Let's get started, shall we? If you already seen the movie, like, be a holler. Did you like it? Did you not? You know what I'm saying? I saw it, and I'll, I'll tell y'all. I'll review it after I finish watching it. Because let me watch it with fresh eyeballs. You know what I'm saying? And I got my glasses on today. Last time I had contacts on, and it was scratchy, and I was itching the whole time, and it was kind of blurry. So, rude. But anyways, let's get into it. Come through, surround sound. Come on, Tamala. That's my girl. I knew I would like it. <laughs> again, I'll watch it again, yes. Okay, I had to pause it because I know y'all like not Shay liking this movie. But guess what? I like musicals, okay? There, I said it. There, I said it. I like musicals, and I don't care who knows it. All right? I like musicals. Hairspray, the new one, and the old one. We can't forget about the old Hairspray. Okay? I like all of them. Grease, etc. I can't even think of them to name right now. I'm so excited about this color purple movie. But a lot of people were pissed that they changed it into a musical. But but I, I was excited, and I'm still excited. Okay? I like musicals. If you don't like musicals, sorry for you. Sorry, but I do. And the color purple is like my sister and I's favorite movie. Like we used to pretend that we were um the girls, the sisters, and we knew the whole me and you as never my da da. BT dubs. My sister is learning Swahili and she said Maki Dada means hold on, let me look it up. Let me not lie. So it means little sister in Swahili. But yeah, we used to play that little hand game and we used to watch the movie together and quote it together like we know all the words. We know all the words. To Hoppo to beat me. I love Hoppo. Don't get me started, okay? But I kill him. Don't get me started, okay? We love this movie. So when it came out, I was super excited. So I'm super excited to get in the watch. Let's get back into it, okay? <laughs> Okay, I want to take a moment to talk about your boy, okay, Victor Strand, you know what I'm saying? A.K.A. Mr. A.K.A. Coleman Domingo. Let's let's talk about your boy, okay, as Mr. Y'all think he did a good job? I don't know, I'm conflicted. I like him. Because that uh, Fear the Walking Dead, that's where I got the Victor Strand name from. Like, because that's, that's his character's name in Fear the Walking Dead. And I love a good Walking Dead movie, show, series, whatever it be called. I love it. So I started watching Fear the Walking Dead. Finished it, BT dubs. I wish they would have made more. Anyways, I digress. I liked him in that show. Like, his character hated him. But that makes me like the actor or actress more. When, like, I legit hate their character. Because they convincing me. They're convincing me that they a bad person or can't be trusted or whatever the case may be. So I didn't like him, uh, his character in that. But I love him as an actor. Love him. So, hmm, I don't remember if he did good or not. I'm going to continue watching so I can see. But that's your boy. I'm glad they picked him, kind of, sort of. And BT does it. He's... Hold on, because I just <laughs> looked him up. On the Wikipedia. He's 54. Have y'all seen a picture of this man? 
the black don't crack. I'm I'm just saying. He's 54. I I never knew. Okay. All right, now I am at the scene where your girl, Celie, uh, you know what I'm saying? I, look, I feel like I'm not spoiling nothing. This movie is based off of an old movie. If you don't know what happened, then I'm sorry. I'm not trying to spoil it. But I'm at the part where young Celie sees her baby in the store or whatever. And then she starts to sing in the new movie. And I'm just thinking, let me go ahead and stop right here and talk to the peoples. Because let's talk about your girl, Felicia. Felicia Pearl. Uh, I'm not sure how to pronounce that last name. <laughs> okay, at first, when I first watched it, I was kind of mad. Because I was like, they did not ugly your girl up enough for this role. Because you remember the last movie, Celie was supposed to, And even the book, Celie was supposedly ugly. That's what she was to everybody. And... You know, even in the movie, you know, she usually is ugly. You know what I'm saying? But I felt like they didn't ugly her up enough. She's gorgeous. But maybe just they just couldn't. They tried, but they couldn't. Because she's gorgeous. I love her. And her voice, huh? Huh? Ugh. Make me faint. Oh, not me swooning. Her voice, ah. She can sing, okay? She can sing. This whole cast, for real, for real. This whole cast, I believe, can sing. I haven't, I don't see anybody up here that can't. Uh, even Coleman, the, the guy that plays Mr., he has a great voice. I didn't know he could sing. Um, who else is up here? Taraji, uh, we're going to get to her later. We're going to get to her later. But I'm just saying, I didn't know she could sing either. I should have known, though, from the Hustle and Flow days. You know it's her my laundry done okay like i was saying you know it's hard out here for people. i should have known she could sing but I, I it struck me as a surprise but anyways um good job felicia i did she i think she did a great job as young silly for real she did um convincing very convincing and you know she can sing so it's great for a musical it's good to hear you know her songs even though some of them, some of the songs I feel like I'd be like about to fall asleep, you know, some of the slower ones. But I I will listen to her sing anything, ABCs. I'll listen, okay? I'll listen to her, I don't know, read the dictionary, you know, sing the dictionary, something. I'll listen to her do anything. So that makes the boring songs to me, the songs that are boring to me, that makes them bearable. The fact that she's singing it. Hold up. Now you just wait a god dang minute. I'm looking at my um computer right here. Hold up, let me show y'all. Dionco Alfonso. Why I didn't know this when I watched it the first time. That doesn't look like him. That's why. He don't look like himself. That's why. And he's playing the dad, which is an older character, I guess. Well, in the mo in the old movie, he was an older character. But I guess in this movie, he's just the same age as Mr. Huh. Interesting. Dionco. Who knew he could be for serial? Who knew he could pay play a serious role? I didn't. Good job, sir. Okay. Because I do like his comedy stuff. Your boy is funny. Not to mention those those Old Spice commercials. I'd be weak laughing at those Old Spice commercials. Okay, okay, D.R. I ain't know. I ain't know. I just now, because I was about to pause it to use the bathroom, and then, you know, some of the Hulu and such. Well, what is this, Max? When you pause it, they give you the actresses' names that are on the screen currently. So that happened, and I was like, Dion Kill? What? And then I Googled right away. Um, but, yeah. So now if you watching the color purple for the first time and you liking it but you like omg this is terrible why would a father do that to his daughter you don't even know the half of it they fixed up this version the old one do not watch it if the new one disturbs you because the old one 
I don't even know how we watched it. <laughs> and it was one of our favorite movies, but they had some graphic scenes. They did some terrible stuff. But, um, yeah, why did we like it so much? I mean, it wasn't all bad, though, but there were some... My point is, if this disturbs you, <laughs> do not watch the old one. Don't do it. Don't watch the old one, okay? <laughs> Y'all come down here and greet your new mama. Come on now. <laughs> Yo, it's so funny. I don't know why. Okay, Victor Strat. I see what you did there. You're doing a good job. He's doing a good job. Uh, why did I pause it? Oh, and some of y'all um that didn't watch the old movie, you probably wondering what's happening right now. If you watching it and you see, you know, what's going on. Celie just got married or whatever to Mr. Right? Why? Right? Why? Because Mr. was married. His wife, I think his wife passed away or something. I'm a little fuzzy on the details, but his he no longer has a wife. But he got all these kids. Mr. got a lot of kids, and they running him ragged. So he went to his friend, Alfonso, and was like, look, I like your daughter, Nettie. Can I marry her and whatnot? I need somebody to come and cook and clean and such and take care of my chillings. You know what I'm saying? And um, Alfonso was like, no, you cannot because she's the youngest i have an older daughter though that you can marry she real strong and she know how to cook and clean and she can take care of your children <laughs> oh, and mr was like see you talk about ceiling <laughs> it's not funny but it's funny it's not funny but it's funny so you can imagine he finally is like, all right, whatever. I take what I can get. I need somebody to help me with this house and these children. They're running him right now. And his kids are bad, BT dubs, bad. So he did need some help. But anyways, that's neither here or there. This is back in the day. That's neither here nor there. This is back in the day. But yeah, so you can imagine how upset he is that he had to settle for the other sister. So it would make sense why he was treating her that way why he was angry with her and you know not really a good husband at all but i mean he was just a bad person anyways it don't matter but you know what i mean it explains the behavior that happens next okay now i'm at the part where Nettie comes um to stay with her sister she need a place to stay pretty much and the ogs the old geez people that you know watch the old movie when it first came out we already know we already y'all already know we were like oh no oh lord and when, when netty came to live with the sister we were like oh lord i actually only remember back in the old movie if she actually came to live with in the old movie she was vis visiting her sister quite a bit and all of us oh lord because we already know Mr. Ain't No Good. Because in the old movie, they showed us he won't no good before. We, you know what I'm saying, knew that him and Celia was going to get married. He ain't no good, okay? And we knew this. So I knew it was a bad idea for Nanny to come. But she's just a kid. She don't know no better, okay? <laughs> she's just a kid. This is the stuff we got to remember. They're both just kids right here in the beginning. They're kids. They look like 13, 14, I guess. 12, 13, 14. I don't know. They're little girls. Okay, so I wasn't going to say nothing about this, but your girl Haley, Hallie Bailey, Hallie Bailey, she's singing right now. And of course, I can't talk about this movie without talking about her, but I wasn't going to say nothing about this. But there were people, my people, my people that were upset that they cast a lighter skin, a fair skin, um, black person as Nettie. Of course, in the original movie, Nettie was brown skin. But do it matter? You should be mad if they okay cast all of a sudden Nettie as, I don't know, Asian or Caucasian. You should be mad at that. Like, don't change their race. But do it matter? We all, we all know that we come in all colors, shades, etc. All browns. That's why I didn't want to say nothing about it. But that irritated me. 
that when I was looking up on social media, if the movie was good or not, that's all I heard. Oh, I'm mad that she's light skinned. Y'all worried about the wrong stuff. Y'all worried about the wrong stuff. With that being said, with that being said, with that being said, Hallie did a good job. I liked her in this movie. Obviously, she can sing, obviously. But I didn't know she, you know, actually had acting pipes too. She's a good actress. She's convincing me that she's Nettie. She's sweet. She's, you know, whatever. The character Nettie. She's Nettie. She's doing a good job. <laughs> Stop it, mister! <sighs> Yo, low-key, I'm glad they changed it. I'm glad they changed it. To the people saying, it's not the same as the old movie. I'm glad they changed it. The scene in the old movie when he was chasing Nettie away. Tears were coming down both sides, okay? This scene, I had one little tear. And it stopped right here. And then it went back up because I'm a thug. But the other movie... That scene was, that scene was, I was boohooing. Okay, every time I watch it, I boohoo. <laughs> it's your girl Fantasia. Yes. She did a damn good job. That's all I got to say, okay? Here comes Sophia. <laughs> Man, I forgot her name. How could I forget? Danielle Brooks. She did a damn good job too, okay? And you know Danielle Brooks, Orange is the New Black. Tasty, yeah girl. Okay? She did a really good job of this too. And I knew she could sing because I seen an episode of Orange is the New Black where she was singing. But she got pipes for real. I only saw like one episode she sung one song. This movie... Your girl is doing it, okay? Your girl's doing it, and of course, she's a good actress. I think she is. But I don't know. She, like, she played that part so well. It was almost like she was Sophia. Like, she was Sophia. She is the one that I could say the character seems to be the same. The same. As, you know, what Oprah Winfrey did. That's what I feel like. She did about the same. About the same, she did good. Hmm? It's a standoff, Sophia and Mister. Fine. Stay then, hot folk. But when you get cold at night, you know good and well who keeps up your bum. Uh, Hoppo, you better go ahead now. Don't keep me waiting. You heard what she said now. Poor Hoppo, he's so timid. He's so timid, poor thing. He come shook. Some of my OGs that I already seen this, wasn't it kind of satisfying when Suge came and she started treating Mr. like sugar honey iced tea? It was a little satisfying for me, a lot actually. I don't know about you. OMG, Fantasia in this moo moo. Girl. Body yaddy yaddy. I don't know why all y'all was surprised that Celie and Suge were lesbians for each other. I don't know why you guys were surprised at that. In the book, I could tell. and the old movie, I could tell. They were a little more subtle about it in the old movie, but... This one right here, they didn't care. Okay, they put it right out there. I appreciate that. Ah! I don't remember this part. Hey, they get... Ooh. Ooh. Ooh, they in a juke joint. Singing a song, she said, How about who this woman? <laughs> I wonder how many times you girl practice that because she did it perfectly. She did it perfectly. Hold on, let me see if I can go back a little bit. I'm still focused. Yeah, she goes, she looking. Careful. Oh, yeah, I'm gonna be careful. <laughs> 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 
Right, we just found our real. No case, squeak. I want today's too fine with me. Oh, Lord. Now we all know what's about to happen. <laughs> oh, no, no, no. <laughs> so, feel about the. be your house. You ain't Look, Sophia got hands, okay? Sophia got all state, are you in good hands? Hands. Sophia got hands around the world holding hands, hands, okay? Meet, meet, meet. <laughs> Watch the movie, for real. Watch it. Oh, Lord. Now, now here comes this white woman, Miss Millie, uh, the mayor's wife or whatever. Here comes this white woman trying to give Sophia a job, but also not really giving her a choice like you gonna be my maid pretty much and sophia like nah i'm good and then here come miss millie like no you gonna be my maid you got all these kids i know you need money okay he wants to be my maid or not <laughs> and then he goes sophia hell no <laughs> It's funny, but then what happens next is not funny. Because all of us was like, Sophia, don't do it. Don't do it. But then she did it. You know she did it. Sad after that. Sad face. Excuse the noise while I make some tea. I, had, I went and took a shower and everything, okay? This movie is long. <clears throat> the movie is long. But this part right here where Celia is about to shave Mr. is crucial. Because that's like when the movie took a turn. You know what I'm saying? The whole time Celia's been in yes, yes, a mister and stuff like that. Right here, she about to change. And you know what? It pissed me off about this. Before Mr. told Celia to shave him, she he gave, you know what I'm saying? He gave her one of these. Bloodied her lip a little bit. And then talking about, now get my shaving stuff. Oh, I'm going to shave your eye. Oh, I'm going to get it eye. That's what Celia was thinking. Here comes Sugar again. Ugh, rose eyes. Why she come back with this husband? Knowing good and well she in love with Celia. And I'm sick of it, okay? At least she came back to get her friend though, for real. Because Mr. was about to beat her. He was about to get on that. <laughs> Dinner table scene. Hilarious. This is like one of the funniest scenes to me. Uh, because should come back and she's finally like, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking Celie with me. And Mr. Like, you taking what? No, you're not. And then that's when Celie starts standing up to Mr. and everything. And she called, <laughs> she called, uh, she called Mr. Saka a dead horse shit or something like that. She called him a name, a funny name. And Sophia, she ain't poor thing. She hasn't said anything for like six or seven years. Hasn't said anything. Just hasn't spoke because of the trauma. And <laughs> she just started laughing and just started talking out the blue. She broke her vow of silence to laugh and make fun of Mr. with her friend Seely. And that's true friendship, okay? That's true friendship. I may be black. I may be poor. I might even be ugly. But I'm here. I'm here. <laughs> You've been on my mind, sister. With your two other kids, sister. Found you. Uh-uh, get that over there. You ain't pee yet. Nothing. That's getting up here. Oh, sing the wrong words. <laughs> I'm coming, baby. Hold up. Oh, it's one right there, Chloe. Mr. is pet. <laughs> okay, so I'm not done with the movie, but I'm almost done. I'm like at the end. There's 25 more minutes left, but. This movie is long. This movie is long and I've already seen it. So I can't sit through the last 25 minutes. I just don't feel like it. Because I have other stuff to do. Like I want to go cook dinner, etc. But 
The movie is long. If you ain't watched it, uh, be prepared for a long movie. But all of it is good. Like, I remember what happened at the end, and I like that part. Some people say they could have left that part out, but no. Everybody coming together was important to me. You want to know what that noise is? Oh, just my baby going ham on this treat that I treat toy that I bought her. She's supposed to roll it around and it. She mad. She got anger management problems. She's supposed to roll the treat around and then uh, the toy around and then the treat falls out. But she getting mad. <laughs> she got anger management problems. Anyways, um, I think the end of the movie was perfectly fine. It was just very long. Imagine going to the theater and watching that. You being there for that long. <clears throat> but anyways. I like all the characters. I like the cast. They did a good job. Whoever did this cast, kudo, you did good, okay? They did a good job. All Everybody did great. Everybody was great. Um, actors, actresses. Some people say Fantasia can't act, but who cares with a voice like that, okay? I couldn't even tell. I can't tell. Can she act? I don't know. I can't tell. I mean, it, it seemed good to me. Seemed good to me, but like I said, who cares with a voice like that? She can sing anything too. ABCs also. You know? A lullaby even. I'll listen to it. I'll buy that album. But um, yeah, everything uh was good in the movie. And then randomly here comes Sierra. <laughs> I knew who saw that coming. Not me. Randomly. Here's Sierra at the end. I was like, really? That's who they picked. All right. That's cool, too. I mean, we had to get her in there, too. She can sing also. We had to get her in there. Um, and then what? Mm. What else can I say about this movie? I really... What's the negative that I have about... I guess the negative that I have about the movie is that it is very long. But that's not really a negative if you have the time to sit there and watch. Um, what else? Mm -mm -mm. Yeah, I don't know. I just sat here and tried to think of something negative to say I can't find it, okay? Why should I try to find it if it ain't? I do remember like an hour ago watching the movie and thinking, man, this is pissing me off. I need to record and say, but I forgot it. So it must not have been that big of a deal. But yeah, the movie is great. Um, if you haven't seen it, you should go see it, okay? And if you expect it to be the same as the other color, purple is not. It's a different movie. It's not a completely different movie. Obviously, it's still the same plot, but it's a different movie, okay? <clears throat> With that being said, if you don't like musicals, don't even watch. You're not going to like it. You're going to judge it based off the fact that it's a musical. So if you don't like musicals, don't watch. But if you do, you're going to enjoy this one. I already know some of the songs by heart. And I like the fact that they had all new, because there are a few songs in um, the movie, the old movie, there were a few. You know, God is trying to tell you something. Sister, that's the one we know. Actually, I think that's the only two songs. But anyways, they had a lot of new, new songs. And the songs were good. Uh, as you can see, I was enjoying myself. I will watch the rest of it later after I finish. Uh... She got a treat out, but now it's outside the crate. <laughs> I'm going to let her on in a second. Um, she's really just crate chaining. She hasn't done anything. I don't use the crate as punishment or nothing. Um, she just be in there for five minutes playing with her little toy. And she don't even realize she in there until something like this happens. Where the treat falls out. And then she's like, hold up. Am I locked down? But no, you're not, honey. I'm going to let you on in a second. But anyways, um, go watch the movie. I'm probably going to watch the rest later. But that was my review. The movie is good, okay? That's my review. Thanks for watching. Bye.